It was a hog homecoming for a special U of A graduate who returned here to Razorback Stadium with a few surprises up his sleeve and to say, Good morning, America. Rise and shine, Arkansas, TJ's home state. He's been back at his old stomping ground at the University of Arkansas with a full stadium takeover. Good morning, Good morning, America. This wasn't just another Rise and Shine segment. This was me coming home, showing the pride of the state and showing off the people that I've known my whole life. Good Morning America is visiting all 50 states, and today, University of Arkansas grad and GMA anchor TJ Holmes had his return to Razorback country. Good we saw surprise. No way. Are you kidding me? After surprise. <laughs> after surprise. Able to make a donation oh. to your organization. A and notable honoree, the Burlsworth Foundation. Yo! Receiving a $10,000 check from Wells Fargo through Good Morning America. Total surprise, and we will certainly put that to good use to help even more kids. TJ honoring his time at the U of A alongside Brandon Burlesworth. If it wasn't for TJ, you know, I mean, uh, we wouldn't be here today because he, he's the one that suggested, you know, uh, Brandon's foundation to be part of this. It makes me feel like I'm special and that I can do things that pe other people can't. And it's a really honor to be out here. All of you have a spot. Football camp. It's really exciting because it's a head start for me to be in the Arkansas Razorbacks. I mean, I have a platform now with where I work that I can highlight the university, not just because they won a football game or a basketball game, but because of its, uh, of its growth, its academic prowess, the students here. And look, I'm an Arkansas boy and born and raised, not just the University of Arkansas grad, but this is my home state. So this is a very prideful uh, rise and shine segment on GMA we did this morning. TJ says now he's headed back to New York to get some much needed rest this weekend. Then he'll no doubt be back out on the road for GMA, a road that ultimately he hopes leads right back here to Fayetteville someday soon to cheer on the Hogs. Reporting in Fayetteville, I'm Lydia Fielder, 4029 News.